Hello guys, today we're going to have a look at uh, a different project of mine. This is a humanoid robot that I've started. It's uh, mostly based on MG995 servos. So those are the black servos. Those servos are Metal Gear servos with ball bearings. So they should be pretty strong. I also have these other Hobby King servos. I got these first and found that they weren't strong enough for the legs. So these are HK15288A servos. So they're metal gear as well. I don't think they have ball bearings on the on the output shaft like the MG995 servos do. So they're a little bit less powerful, but they're also quite a bit cheaper I think. So these MG995 servos, they're very good, they're very strong. So to drive them I have a 7.4 volt battery and just to for the minute to regulate the voltage I just have these two large diodes they come from a, a solar panel project that I uh, worked on at one point so they're quite high current diodes and they just drop the voltage by about a volt and a half to to get the under six volts for the bigger servos the, these servos they're, they're all good for six volts so this basically powers that I have a a capacitor here I think it's 3300 microfarads and that just uh, provides the impulse power that the servos need when they're starting up so originally I was having trouble with as soon as I put power to the servos they'd all jerk at once and the power supply would drop which would cause the microcontroller to reset or cause some of the other servos to reset and they ended up contorting into strange strange shapes so this uh, battery puts the power to through to the capacitor that charges the capacitor so that when the servos uh, suddenly need to move they can get the power from the capacitor really quickly and that because the battery can't can't supply the power that fast so the capacitor is there to help with that problem now if I had the servos and the microcontroller here running off this single battery I would have a problem with when the servos uh, jerked into life they they might drop the voltage so low that it resets the microcontroller so I have two separate uh, batteries this bigger battery for the servos and this small 3.7 volt battery for the microcontroller here and it's just an Arduino uh, Pro Mini is the microcontroller for this and basically so far I have the robot able to stand up and crouch and I have some on the back here I have a Bluetooth module so I can control it from my tablet and that is how I intend to control the robot so basically well hopefully it'll be kind of autonomous it'll be able to search around for obstacles and walk around and avoid them but at the minute I just have it being controlled by myself as you can see it, it's only the legs so far so uh, hopefully in the future I'll be able to build him up so that he has arms and might be able to he'll be able to do more than just uh, more than just uh, walk around might be able to pick some stuff up something like that but uh, I haven't got that far yet so I'll have to see how that works out so I have a, I have a demo of him standing and crouching so I'll show you that now Okay, so like I said, he can only stand and crouch, so at the minute he's crouched. And my sister wrote me a little program here, just to, just one button to make it stand and one button to make it crouch. And uh, as as I add more functions to the robot, she looked at this uh, program for me so that I have uh, more controls. So I'm able to control it from the tablet here via Bluetooth. So if I hit the stand button, he just stands up. I can hit the crouch button and you just crouch down. So it's pretty pretty basic so far, but you know, you have to start somewhere. That's the Bluetooth module on the back there. So those MG995 motors seem to be pretty good for this job. Um, 
I was thinking of I was thinking of putting some super capacitors on the legs to provide power for each individual leg so that um, you know the servo power to get the motor spinning that wouldn't cause such a voltage drop in and, and hopefully be a bit more controllable and uh, also obviously I'd want to make the control board um, more permanent I want to make a PCB version of that so I'll have to do that later because I want one or uh, one one Arduino Pro Mini to control the legs to monitor the currents and voltages of associated with the legs so that uh, you know to split it up so that if it's worrying about the legs another one is worrying about the arms and another one is worrying about the sensors they can all be monitoring different things at once but only sending important data so it'll only send a current value for example if I request a current value or it'll only send an error value if something goes wrong in the legs so that you know they're not all completely uh, stuck trying to monitor or one Arduino is not stuck trying to monitor the entire robot so that's that's my idea but uh, we'll see how it works out at the minute the MG995 servos are strong enough for what I have here but when I had uh, the rest of the body and the arms they may prove a bit too weak so we'll see what happens uh, but before I start worrying about arms or anything I'm gonna try and make the robot walk and to do other uh, maneuvers so I just wanted to show you that uh, little project that I'm working on and if you have any comments or suggestions on how to go about this uh, post them below or in the forum as usual and that's everything for today really so thanks very much for watching